Inside Science TV. It's one of the lightest man-made materials in the world. But how can something this light hold 160,000 times its own weight? They might not look like much, but these 3D materials are one of a kind. Lightweight, but super strong. It can hold more than 100,000 times of its own weight. In fact, even more than that. Material engineers at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory created them with a special 3D printer that mixes hard metal, tough ceramics, and flexible plastics. One of the benefits of this methodology is the ability to work with a w wide range of materials. These are things that aren't generally available in 3D printing today. The engineers create the materials with a sophisticated technology that creates 3D parts, layer by layer. It starts here with a light source. Light comes up through this tube into this cube, which is a beam splitter, comes over here, and on the end of this ribbon cable, it's essentially a mini uh, monitor or screen that's reflective. We put an image on that screen, which represents a layer in our three-dimensional structure. The light hits the screen and reflects off of it over to these optical components, and it focuses it in this box where we have a liquid. Wherever it gets hit by light, it hardens and forms a layer. We then lower that layer, liquid reflows over the top, change the image on the screen, and shoot our next layer. The materials are so strong that they can stay stiff almost indefinitely and can hold up to at least 160,000 times their own weight. Their connectivity is so high that the structure does not have extra degree of freedom to move. This super stiff material could someday be used in products that require strong but lightweight parts, such as automobiles, space vehicles, and airplanes. Things like aircraft become much more efficient. They'd be lighter weights, you'd need less fuel. A new way to create materials that could change how we travel. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.